Hello guys and welcome back to EV with Rafiq. So today we will be seeing how to source these lithium batteries as you can see over here. These batteries just for 25 to 30 rupees. You may be wondering how because these batteries the new one of these like lithium ion cost us around 130 to 200 like in between of the, that range. It is very costly. So you may be wondering how can I get it for 30 rupees only. So I'll show you that in this video. So let's get So first off we need are the laptop batteries. Where do you find the laptop batteries? You can find those in a computer shops or computer repair centers. You can just go ask them do you have laptop second hand batteries? They will be ready to sell it to you in just very few price. I will show you how do they look one second. Okay. So here you can see I have four I have many over here. Like see these many I have. <laughs> I went and collected all of these them or from out. So you can see a single one like this, a single one. You can see a double one like this. You can even see a triple one like this. See the three ones. So you can see any of these. Like these are all the different laptops ka batteries. Okay. So you can find them. Just go ask them. Do you have a second hand laptop battery? they'll be ready to sell it to you and i got this like okay for this one i paid around 150 i guess yeah so i paid 150 for this one and for this one around 170 because it has more number of cells i'll show you why how many i guess this has one two three four cells in this one the single one and this has around i guess six cells in this one and this is a big one so for this i paid around 200 for each so now okay you got this now why 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 spending 200 on this one and buying this pack you may ask me so here comes the trick i'll say you while doing this one first you know what we'll do is we'll try to open the single one first so let's put this aside yes to open this one we need is a cutter okay this cutter simple shot before trying to cut this first off we need to wear our gloves remember because the blade is sharp and the second thing is if something happens like if you go pricking too hard or if you go just slicing inside like this the battery may get damaged and your fingers and hand may get damaged very easily because lithium ba lithium ion batteries are very inactive like how to say like if you just prick them up it will light like it will become fireworks on you so i'll show that in upcoming video i'll show you how safe is lithium battery too okay so we are ready okay now take a blade you can just use a small sharpen okay sharpen now here in the battery pack when you see you can follow the groove see this line over here you can see this line okay this line continues from here and it goes from the top if you can see properly right now we need to do nothing we just hold the blade tight tight in a hand and from the sleeve like on the line just cut like this see it's trying to open see just do this wherever it's needed like see we are, we are trying to cut it okay let's cut it like this so follow the whole thing for the whole lines like this side i guess it's not necessary much but this side is important okay i'll show you why it is not necessary that side because that side it has inter like it it will be like this so you can just open it like this once you open it so it will look now you may be asking me why why rafiq why are you spending 150 on this instead of buying a new cell okay so the answer would be see for example let's take a calculation let's take a calculation where you have four batteries in this one okay four batteries cost us 150 right so in that four batteries if suppose let's take a scenario where one battery is damaged like one battery is just 2.5 volts and remaining all the three batteries are working fine okay so what will happen there so it will be like we got three batteries for 150 now because one battery is 2.5 volts it's not waste but it's not completely charged so we will be thinking now how so 3 for 150 so we got one for just 50 rupees simple it's simple math right so if you take this nine pack and suppose let's say i got it for 200 in nine pack uh, let's assume we got like uh, one two damage okay let's assume three damage we got six in this so two uh, six for 200 now you can calculate this it's very simple right so like that okay 
so for the second for the projects and all which we do for the vehicles which we make we need like this one we can't go buy a new new battery like new batteries for all the projects right we need to find some way i'm just taking a screwdriver you can see now now here in this hole see just try to do this so it's simple so just try to open it up like this see see i told you it is interlinked just try slowly because inside we have our batteries okay slowly we need to do slowly just we need to try to open it up okay see ha simple see i told you this will be in the form of zig zigzag lock see it came out and see we got four simple four batteries now what do we need to do here in this four batteries what we'll do is we'll take a cutter okay we'll take a cutter first off let's now this you may be wondering what is this one rafik so this is also a bms circuit which is used to charge these batteries we can even use this one to charge batteries okay we can use this also as a bms in further video i'll show you how we'll use that so first off let's take a cutter carefully cut see you saw i by mistakely touched this and this it caused a smoke so be very careful guys it's dangerous because lithium batteries are very active like super active they are and they are charged so be careful while doing this that's why i told you wear gloves you don't know what may happen when so just invest in some good gloves and cut this let's cut this all of this carefully yes yes done done let's keep it aside now let's split the batteries over here okay if you want you can keep this or you can just strip it over here okay now let me let me cut it all be careful while doing this okay now now let's take a blade back okay let's take a battery slowly remove this slowly okay be careful you if you want you can remove this or you if you don't want you cannot like it's your wish guys i just want to look at like a bit neat see see i showed you right see inside this sleeve you have a cell this is cell okay it's just a sleeve on top of it okay let's let me clean it how much i can yeah now 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 for this one now for this one let's cut this till here let's we can see we can you reuse this all nickel strips also okay to so when we are making our battery pack we will be using those okay so because we can't like we can buy but let's try to save some money where we can right okay got this aside got this aside for this one is just the uh, you can take the reverse side and this clean it done it will be a bit messy but that's okay now moment of truth like are they really worth it one second yeah see wearing gloves is important it's sharp so wearing gloves was really important now let's hold this and bring it yep gone now you can remove like this all the sharp with the supplier done this one it's done and dusted yep now it's a mess so let's ignore the mess okay now let's take a multimeter okay a simple multimeter now let me keep it to volts in 20 it's on now the moment of truth what do you think is it worth it like this much work i'll show you was it worth it or no the top part which you can see a bubble right here and now i'll show you another battery see this one is positive the flat part is a negative okay let's hold this one here let's hold this one here it's a 3.6 wonderful you can see it's 3.6 right you you're watching this is 3.62 okay 
this battery is fully charged okay this is okay this is cool next let's take this battery let's go back again positive over here i'll clip this off later okay so let's keep it here let's select it over here 3.6 this battery is full two now more two to go let's find out which one is a defective one among these two okay so let's place the positive again positive positive right the moment of truth guys three two one it's 3.6 again these three are full wonderful wonderful see now i guess so this is the defective one i mean which is a less voltage but let's check out sometimes we may be lucky to find out that it's also a full voltage three two one say i told you it's one second let me hold it yeah it's 3.4 sorry 2.4 i'm sorry so in this four only one was defective right so i got this four for 120 i guess i ah, know i guess for, ah, i got this battery back for 150 you can get it for less also depending upon the seller so few packs i got for 120 and 150 so like that so this means we got this is 2.4 let's keep this aside that's no this three yes and we got this three for just 150 which means each one is costed of 50 rupees and it's new like yeah they are used i know see they are 18650 still they are of lg brand so they are new wonderful so this is how you can get your own batteries for just very less price now i got this for 50 rupees maybe in the nine pack which i got it for 180 200 rupees i can get it for like very less what if we got all of the nine batteries completely true correct then it will be more amazing so in the next video where we will be do we will find out how to spot well this okay use saw here mm, wait a second where it go huh here you saw this strip like right? this strip is called a nickel strip nickel is used to connect those batteries here you can see the small dots right yeah those are spot weldings for the spot weldings, we will be making a spot welder. To make a spot welder, before that we need to make a timer circuit. So that we can control how much time the uh, spots get on, like we can spot it on spot. So for that, check out the next video where I'll be uploading soon, where we'll be making a spot welder. Before that, we'll be making a timer circuit. So we'll be making a timer circuit, then we'll be making a spot welder, then I'll be making our own battery pack. I'll show you how it is done very easily. Okay, and don't forget to follow the theory series where in theory of the battery you can see up over here in theory of a battery I'll be explaining detailed theory which you will be needed to know when, when to make your own battery pack what is capacity what are amperes what are watts how to calculate everything okay so don't forget to check that out so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching